Hong Kong's in the grip of what could be its biggest protest movement since 1997 and hand back. One of the city's biggest trade unions is now calling for a strike in the coming hours. Earlier, there were more rallies over a bill that would allow the extradition of fugitives to mainland China. The critics fear this bill, however well-intentioned, could be widely abused. The Hong Kong Confederations of Trade Unions says this government wants us to be frustrated and defeated by it, but we are not. On the contrary, we want to let the chief executive, Carrie Lam, know the protest on the June the 9th is only the beginning of this fight. Hong Kong's a city built for business, and mass strikes could hit hard. Jamie Metzl is the senior fellow at the Atlantic Council and author of a new book, Hacking Darwin, Genetic Engineering and the Future of Humanity. Always good to have you, sir. Nice to see you, Richard. Always good. OK, how serious is this latest battle in Hong Kong? It's a big deal, because Hong Kong was promised at the time of the handover to China uh, that it was going to have one country, two system. China is completely reneging on that deal. And every time, the people who are supporting more independence uh, for Hong Kong, more the, the maintenance of this, uh, this system, this legal system that has defended people's rights, they're getting pushed back. And this extradition, uh, this extradition law is a big and a fundamental blow to the concept but this of is only, Hong Kong. It is only a negative if it is abused by the Chinese. Yeah, well, that's... Think of what you're saying. Well, if I know, a, I know. Of course the Chinese I, I, I are going know, to abuse. You know, I mean, on the basis that there's two sides to every argument, the, 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 uh, the Hong Kong government says, look, at the moment, we can't extradite a Taiwan murderer to Taiwan because there's no extradition treaty. Yes, they don't have an extra, uh, extradition treaty with China, but they have extradition treaties with others who they think are responsible actors. And as a matter of fact, the protection against the Chinese legal system is built into the Hong Kong law because people recognize that China doesn't have the, the rule of law. And so if there aren't these kinds of protections, everybody knows that China is going to abuse that to limit the freedom of maneuver inside of but Hong Kong. The difficulty here is regardless of the protests, and maybe I'm just being cynical here, that the, the law's going to be passed. It is. There's a majority on LegCo yes. for Beijing, a pro-Beijing yeah. majority, inbuilt. The yeah. uh, chief executive was appointed by Beijing yeah. in some sham election. It's true. So China, Beijing holds the cards in Hong Kong, and it's really tragic because we are watching Hong Kong and this idea of Hong Kong, and not just the idea that was uh, from the British or from the, 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 the uh, NGOs, but what China promised Hong Kong, that space is being limited, and it's did really anybody, worrying. Did anybody really ever think that the Chinese were going to keep their word on that? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, let, let's say, put it this way. One, people did, and I think it's right for people in Hong Kong to hold China to its word. And the second thing is, if you're in Taiwan, you're looking at Hong Kong, and China's promising you one country, two systems for Hong Kong, you'd be insane to, to think that's a serious offer. So 50 years takes us to 2047. Correct. We're just, we're not quite at the halfway point, but I was in Hong Kong recently, and there the business talk is what's after 47. It seems a long way away, but if you're about to take a lease on an office building, a 20-storey office building, it could be a 30-year lease. It could be. And, so, and, and China has a plan of integrating that whole, whole Pearl River Delta, and Hong Kong will be, will be part of it. But if you are someone who lives in Hong Kong and you believe that the rule of law means something to you, then you should be worried. But does it mean that China, before long, is going to have to make a statement of intent, not about the extradition treaty, but about the post 50 year uh, policy that they will maintain for China. Because very soon, and so within 20 years, people are going to say, what's next? Yeah, well, China is making that statement now. It's very clear that, that this system of special rights for, for Hong Kong, a system of uh, rule of law, is, is being limited. And that's, that's where things are heading. Does all this seem very strange? When I look at your the genetic engineering and the future of humanity, does it seem weird to write a book like this when we're all still arguing about, you know, systems of government in 40 years' time, when you're talking about something far more serious in many well, ways? Well, it's connected. Is uh, it? It How? is. Because there are going to be the story of the 21st century is the competitive ecosystems between China and the United States. And the technologies of the future, the technologies of the 21st century, uh, like AI and genomics, are going to be part of this competition. It's part and parcel of everything. Does it hurt or harm? Maybe I'm being too narrow-minded and parochial. Does it harm or ha hurt or harm when you have these... The United States going on this tariff war this uh, against somebody like China. 
Well, the United States has to stand up to China. China has, uh, since it entered the WTO, has abused the privilege that it was given. And so the United States and the European Union, for that matter, need to tow a much tougher line on China. But if the United States is being tough on China, the best way to do it would have been to bring everybody together through a, a, an entity like the Trans-Pacific Partnership. But even then, even now, the U.S. has to push hard on China because China has abused the system. Trans-Pacific Partnership, haven't heard that one for a while. You know, we're still holding on to hope. T what are we, TPP? Well, no, but it's... They, they've, well, now it's, it's without the United States. So it's, and, it's and T12 minus one or whatever And Japan is carrying the flag, and, and someday the U.S. will recognize that the best strategy for us is with our allies.